Welcome Black. This your host, Concerned Black Citizen. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, and share this video, and hit that notification bell for all updates. Let's get it. Latin people, we're, we're the largest ethnic group in, my, in America, the oldest ethnic group. We built this country. We suffered in this country, we were oppressed, and we're thriving. We, we add $2.8 trillion to the GDP every year. If we were our own country, we'd be the fifth largest economy in the world, bigger than England, bigger than Italy, bigger than Brazil, and that's just in America. So I found Latin excellence all over America, in Chicago, in D.C., in Miami, in Puerto Rico, in L.A., in New York, and, and we ate, we, we danced, and we celebrate it because nobody knows how to enjoy life as good as Latinos. Latin people, we're, we're the largest ethnic group in, my, in America, the oldest ethnic group. We built this country. We suffered in this country. We were oppressed and we're thriving. Oh, we're seeing this you know, concerted effort to erase history and in schools and history books. Uh, dis disgusting is that column, yeah. <laughs> DeSantis in Florida, you know, and you're trying to push the ball in the other direction, which yes. is let's look at our history. Let's look at the contributions of this. We have to push back. We have to fight against that attempt to take our history out that we're trying to put back in because it's not in there. If American history books aren't accurate, they're fiction. It's a fiction. If you don't put all the things that really happened, we let people are the only ethnic group that has fought in every single war America has ever had, and we're the most awarded in each of those wars. And I'm talking about the American Revolution. Those stories are nowhere to be seen. They're nowhere written. And so this fight, we need to double down on the fight and protect and stay woke. On, 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 even though they're making it sound like being woke is a bad thing, it's a great thing. Oh, we're seeing this, you know. The first surge began in the 1900s revolution in Mexico and a strong U.S. economy brought a tremendous increase in Mexican immigration rates between 1910 and 1930. The number of Mexican immigrants counted by the U.S. Census tripled from 200,000 to 600,000. So you see a strong U.S. economy sounds like it was already built so that proves you lied right there uh mrs john uh well we'll call you jamie i don't really know where you went by during this movie but trust me bro we did not forget see you coming out here um spewing all these lies about history brother I'm a person whose grandfather fought in the majority of the wars. My uncle fought in the rest of them after my granddad. See, my family built this country. So for you to say, us Latinos, we're the oldest ethnic group in the country. Says who? Says you? Well, right here from this picture, I could tell you like to play games. You, you are a bona fide liar. I mean, it's just simple racism. You came right out and lied right between those teeth of yours. Those Baraka, Mortar Kombat, jagged ass teeth. And we're not going to stand from it, for it. we definitely going to push back. And I mean, the things he said, you see them slip up. Oh, here in Miami. Uh, bro, you was literally talking about Miami because the show says you're in Miami. And you know, if you was referencing Miami, Latinos didn't even build Miami. Don't get it twisted. You can't build something that's already built. 
You can't come out and claim something that a group of people, we're still here, John. They they haven't got rid of us, and they and they would ne- never will. But we're still here, and you have the nerve to come out and claim something that only a black American can claim. Fighting in every war, building this country. Do you see how the white guy looked when he said that? Oh, man, the white guy just immediately uh, retreated for cover. If you look at his eyes. Because the white guy said, with his eyes, I don't have nothing to do with this mess here. And and this is a political ploy, if you guys don't know. This is an attempt to somehow garner some type of uh, credibility. Um, either the rolls done dried up or he's running for some type of uh, political position in the Latin community. Maybe governor or mayor somewhere, wherever shithole he's from. Because doing all this is a reason behind it. I'm almost sure of it. Um, so we suggest, uh, Mrs. Jamie, you have all these seats. Sit your goofy ass the fuck down and shut the fuck up. Nobody wants to hear from you. And with all this hip hop stuff, you know, you're taking the same stance as Busta Rhymes. It seemed like the powers that be knew that this was the 50th anniversary of hip hop. And they came out and paid you Democratic shields and you touch down tethers just to come out and get in front of the conversation. And all this is all this is all this is war at the end of the day. Verbal, mental, spiritual combat. Well don't think we forgot homeboy. Cause we'll put this picture out there. We know you you don't care anyway. But let's let everybody know what you should be remembered remembered from. We we don't want to hear what you gotta say. Just tell us uh what color lipstick you like wearing. Because anything else from you doesn't matter at all. It seemed like you wanna do something else on your part time. So why don't you get into it? And make sure that a gerbil doesn't go where the sun don't shine. And if you like what you hear here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, you share this video on your timeline. And let me know what you think in the comment section. Has Jack Off John lost his fucking mind? I would say so. I think he has. And I see you in the next video.